I'm Tom Zapecki. I'm the production manager at WBGU TV in Bowling Green, Ohio. Right now, I'm working on Made in America, the Lima Locomotive Works. The documentary is about the Lima Locomotive Works. It was the third largest steam engine manufacturer in the world, behind Alco and Baldwin. It uh, provided a good living for many families, helped build the city of Lima, the state of Ohio, and in essence our country with the exports that they did all over the world. just a matter of months, I'm trying to learn what these guys have accumulated in knowledge over the course of their life. There are a lot of challenges. One of them is how do you put a hundred years into one hour? You end up having to sleep, eat, and breathe whatever the material is you're working on to be able to internalize that and tell the, tell the story in the best way possible. I was dreaming last night about trains. A train was going by and the cars weren't all connected. Some were just being bumped along and pushed by other parts of the train. It might be my subconscious telling me I don't quite have things together on this program yet. But. Ah, best coffee ever. We're on our way to Brunswick, Ohio to interview a gentleman in his 80s who worked for several different railroads as a locomotive inspector. And apparently he's got some good stories about the Lima Locomotive Works. That's the kind of stuff that really can bring the story to life for people. A lot of people wait their whole life for someone to ask them to tell their story. So sometimes you get to be the one that they share their stories with. So I want to make it the best I possibly can. Documentaries sometimes are like medicine. They have a bitter taste, you know it's good for you, but you really don't enjoy the experience of, of getting it. And I like, you know, uh, to sugarcoat it and make it so you want to learn. So there are uh, a couple of places where uh, I had some fun. When you're making a documentary, you have to be accurate. How do you put a hundred years into one hour? And what do you put in, what do you leave out? And as you hear similar things from several people, you get to be able to construct um, what you hope is a, is a fairly accurate narrative based on what actually happened. There are always you know, differing viewpoints and you have to try and balance those. So I hope people enjoy seeing multiple viewpoints within the documentary. One of the things about good television and good documentaries is that afterwards you feel like you've been someplace. So with the photos I've chosen, with some of the archival film that was shot in the Lima Locomotive Works, I'm able to put people there right beside the workers describe the conditions they went through and give them a feeling for what it was like to go and work there day in and day out. It's important that people know our manufacturing history. Today a lot of people say the U.S. Uh, can't build anything, that we need to outsource all of our manufacturing. And this program may remind people that we have the intelligence, the ingenuity, and the work ethic to create whatever it is we want to create. The project always evolves. A lot of people think documentaries, it's a set story going in. I had an idea of what I wanted to do and that just changed continually along the course of it. I think the last train dream that I remember, I'm on this locomotive and we're hauling a train and there's a boxcar rolling towards me on the track 
and I'm thinking, I'm going to hit this thing, and I don't know what it is I can do. That, to me, was a sign that my subconscious was helping me work on this and get it together, and it finally did come together, and I think everybody will be happy with the result. At least I'm happy with it. The payoff is getting to be a storyteller. Some of the best memories I have from this project are meeting the people who actually did this. They lived it. And getting a chance to meet them, to learn from them, hear what their stories were, and then be able to share that, that's just a thrill. That's, that's what being a storyteller is all about. I really think that even people who, who don't have a passing interest in Lima or in trains or, or they're not rail fans will still find something to take away from watching this program and they'll be entertained by it and they'll learn from it. I think when this one's done I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm really tired. I've been putting in some very long hours um, and I'll take a rest. Then it'll be on to another project. After hundreds, perhaps thousands of hours on this project, it comes down to this, and we're about to rock the house at the Allen County Museum. Whoa!